In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop a Google form from accepting responses. Whether you're wrapping up a survey or closing an event registration, knowing how to quickly and efficiently disable responses on your Google form can be incredibly useful. Let's dive in. First, we need to start by logging into Google Forms. Open up your web browser and head over to the Google Forms website. You can easily find it by searching Google Forms in your preferred search engine. Once you're on the website, sign in with your Google account. Make sure you're using the account that owns or has access to the form you wish to stop. Next, you'll arrive at the main dashboard where all of your forms are listed. Scroll through or use the search function to find the specific form you're looking to edit. Clicking on the form's title will open it and allow you to make any necessary changes. Doing this takes you to the form editor. This is where the magic happens, as it's the place where you can manage all aspects of your form. Now as your form is open, take a glance towards the top right corner of the page. You'll notice a few icons, and among them, look for the one that typically represents published options, or something similar. It often looks like a cog or a menu with three dots. Give that button a click to reveal a drop-down menu with several settings you can adjust. From the drop-down, locate the slider option for response collection. This might have a label like accepting responses or a similar prompt. By default, this slider is usually set to the right, meaning that your form is currently collecting responses. What you want to do is toggle this option by sliding it to the left. This effectively disables the form's ability to accept any new responses, ensuring no additional entries are submitted once it's closed. Finally, after you've toggled the slider, it's crucial to save your changes. Find the Save button. It's usually located somewhere around the settings area you've been working in. Click on it to confirm and apply all changes. By saving, you ensure the form settings are updated and reflect your preferences. It's all too easy to forget this step, so always double check that your form is no longer accepting responses before you close the tab. And there you have it. Your Google form is now set to stop accepting any more responses. This is a seamless way to control your data collection, whether you're surveying opinions, hosting events, or managing applications. If you need to reopen the form in the future, just follow these steps in reverse. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial has been helpful for all your future form management needs.